Hey guys, Dan the Man with Ralston Acres. I talked a little bit in the last video about uh, competition and about sell the experience. Well, one of the ways we can sell experience is by using our senses. What do I mean by that? Watch this video and we'll find out. Okay, what does it mean when we're trying to uh, appeal to the uh, the senses of our, and I don't mean sense like dollars and cents, I'm talking about senses like eyesight, hearing, this kind of thing. Well, let me let me explain what I'm talking about. First thing, when people come on the farm, you want them to feel comfortable. We talked about that. Uh, a lot of the, the, the areas are convenient, the checkout lines, we've talked about that. But what about the, and that, that involves sight. That involves what they see when they first come on. Uh, it involves, okay, this is a nice barn. Do we have lights? Do we have, <coughs> excuse me, do we have uh, people uh, properly identified that I can see and talk to? Are there ample checkout lines that I can see when I get ready to go? Do I have a saw? Can I see where that's at? The greeters have, have responsibility over the saws. But the sight, what they see when they come on has a lot to do with their experience, what they see. Now, here's another one. What you hear. What about your hearing? Let me explain that. One of the things I liked about building this barn is I was able to put speakers in it. And I put a few speakers, and they're not that expensive. And it don't have to be, you know, when you get started, it doesn't have to be just huge. But on those speakers, I go through uh, a little computer program you got on your phone, or I can, I can record it, whatever. But Christmas songs, Christmas music, background music. Uh, when you walk into a grocery store, <laughs> we used to listen to background music, you know. Or if you, uh, you're standing on an elevator, uh, you know, you're waiting on the door. So when I, you, you hear a lot of times on some places still do. I don't know if they do or not, but you heard elevator music, relaxing music. Uh, well, here you're going to hear Christmas music. You're going to be, you're going, your hearing is going to be uh, in, uh, enhancing your experience of the festivities, of uh, being Christmas time. Uh, maybe, maybe hear a song that would bring back a, a real positive memory. So, you know, Hearing is another sense, sight, hearing is another sense that we will uh, try to expound upon when, when you're here at the, at the tree farm. Now, besides the fact that the, the, the customers, I mean, they can still hear the, and have interaction with our workers and they appreciate that interaction, but hearing is very important. One of the senses we try to appeal to. What about the sense of smell? How does, that, how does that work in Christmas tree farm? Remember I said earlier in the video, we talked about the, the concession stand. How many times have you walked into a, a, uh, a venue and smelled freshly popped popcorn? Oh yeah, that gets you started. That, that lets you know that there's something different. That lets you know that that's, there's something to eat that tastes good, that you like. It might be popcorn, it could be kettle corn, it could be boiled peanuts, it could be, I mean, there's just a lot of, hot chocolate, uh, sometimes it's just as simple as coffee. I mean, just something, something that will, um, will appeal to the senses, appeal to the sense of smell. Uh, I love it when people come in and say, oh, this smells real good. Besides the concession stand, as they walk away from it, no, we don't leave that sense undone. We have the smell from the trees. You know, a lot of your Douglas fir, Fraser firs, a lot of those trees that we have inside our barn and some that we have on the outside that you choose and cut, they smell great, okay? Now, it all depends on a person's taste and smell, and I no pun intended there, but whatever they, I had, you know, something, oh, I don't like this particular fragrance, but boy, this one right here really is good. You know, that when they come in and they smell the popcorn, then they come around and they see the, and smell the trees, you know, sight, remember? Okay, they see trees, they see them all in water, they ever, and then they smell the fragrance from those firs. Oh, man, that, that gets them. We're here to cut a Christmas tree, or we're here to purchase a Christmas tree. So all those, okay, we've gone through sight, we've gone through hearing, we've gone through smell, you know, those are all 
senses. What about taste? Taste? Is what that be? Well, does your popcorn taste good or did you burn it? Well, that takes care of two things right there. If you burnt popcorn, that's not going to enhance anybody's experience. And if it's, but if it tastes good, what about the hot chocolate? What about things along that line? You know, when we first started, we gave away hot apple cider. You know, it wasn't as messy as the hot chocolate was, but uh, we found out <laughs> after a while that, you know, uh, we, we're, we're giving away a lot of, hot, uh, of apple cider. We might want to look at charging for, for something, you know, to at least make our expenses back. Uh, but then you, you're looking at um, the hot chocolate, the hot apple cider, uh, things like this. We have one particular thing that we do that is, I think, is, is not unique. I borrowed this idea from another Christmas tree farm, uh, which that's fine. I mean, we do that all the time. But uh, it's a, in, a, in a, one of our Ralston Acres mugs, and it's got our nice hot chocolate in it that tastes really good. And then we put whipped cream on the top, and we put some sprinkles on it, and maybe put a little candy cane in it, and we sell that as especially hot chocolate. One of the best commercials we've ever done, we have a lady that's sipping it and says, oh, this is really good. That appeals to the taste. Uh, sight, okay, we're, we're looking at smell, we're looking at hearing, we're looking at taste. You know, all these things we want to appeal to so that we can enhance the total experience. Now, you can have all these things you want. You can have all of them you want. But when it comes to, uh, right down to it, if, if everything smells good and, it, and you hear the Christmas music and, and you see all the other people and, and you get your experience to check out, but if, you're, if, you're, uh, if your workers are not polite or if your, uh, your product that you're selling is not quite up to, to your standards, then this can, this can be a downside uh, to the experience. So we want to try to keep those up. We want to try to keep those up. Because especially in the ones you can control, we can control the workers. Well, I hope you've learned a little bit from this video about how to use senses, hearing, sight, uh, smell, taste, uh, in uh, providing that unique experience for the customer when they come on your farm to purchase a Christmas tree. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our video if you haven't already. Uh, it costs you nothing. It can only help us. We do appreciate your watching. And we'll see you next time on Farming Around the Christmas Trees.